Mary. Help me! Mary. Oh, I can't see! After the show ended, Melissa Anderson continued with her career and took on a number of roles in several shows and movies. Some of these include her role as Yvette in The Equalizer. Were you in love with her? The 49-year-old has been married since 1990 with two children. Cook stuff, it tasted like weeds and shrubbery. Do you mind? We're trying to enjoy our supper. Hey, would you mind? I'm trying to have an argument with my wife. Sure. After the show ended, Michael Landon went on to work on other projects, and we saw him in NBC's drama Highway to Heaven. It didn't come from the police department, it came from the boss. After the show still, some of his co-stars, including on-screen wife Karen, came out accusing him of sexual harassment and racism. He did not live long enough to have more appearances as he passed away in 1991 from lung cancer. But all the kids here, they just play children's games. Besides, it's kind of hard to run around when you have such long hair. Melissa Gilbert went on to appear in several movies and TV shows, including When We Last Spoke, where she played Grandma Ruby. Hello, Mother Cranborn. Gilbert just wrote a memoir where she talks about her chronic issues, surgeries, moving cross-country, and running for Congress. She is married to actor Timothy Buzzfield and has two children from her past marriage. Alison ended up becoming a stand-up comedian and she even released a comedy album dubbed Here is Ami and wrote a very funny autobiography which she titled Confessions of a Prairie Beach. She has been acting here and there and her most recent role was in the 2021 movie Even in Dreams. I quit! Oh, you really think she has been married to her husband, Robert, since 1993. Pleasure to meet you, Laura. My friends call me Manny. Following the end of the show, Dean Butler took on roles in a few movies and TV shows, and we have watched him in The New Gidget, which first aired in 1986, among other shows and films. Life is in television now. Come on. Currently, he produces entertainment, sports, and documentary programming. Family-wise, he is married to wife Catherine. Sandra, I meant what I said to Miss Triangles. Little House on the Prairie was oh, A-list actor Jason Bateman's first big TV role, and he has since then kept entertaining us with his interesting acting. After the show ended, he took on the role of Derek Taylor in Silver Spoon. Good evening, Miss Summers. Good evening. Now I'm going to say that you look exceptionally beautiful this evening. Currently, he is the talk of the world following his remarkable role as Marty in Ozark. This is just another betrayal, isn't it? How long have you been planning this? He has been married to his wife Amanda since 2001 and they share two children. Carolyn! Karen has appeared in small roles on shows like Murder, She Wrote and in theatrical productions. You have to get dressed. <laughs> Goodbye, son. Thank you. Hope you enjoy. Shannon Doty has enjoyed a successful career since Little House. She played Brenda on the 90s hit show Beverly Hills 90210 and she also appeared in Charmed. Yeah, neither did we. Shannon battled breast cancer between 2015 and 2017 and in 2020 she revealed that it returned and it was stage 4. She is a married woman but the cancer crushed her dreams of having children. 
Kyle Richard. This has appeared in several other shows and films, including ER, and she currently appears in Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. The reality TV star is married and has four children. <laughs> <laughs>